Hello, boys and girls. For math today, we're going to be doing something that's very similar to one of your lessons from last week. So we're going to be adding tens and ones, and you're like, Ms. Cortez, I already know how to do this. But I'm going to show you a little trick to do it a little bit differently. And this might be easier for some of you. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at page 459, 459 in our My Math book. 459. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be adding groups of 10 like this. So remember, this is a group of 10 because it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 ones. So when we put them all together, that makes one group of 10, and actually we call them tens, right? And if they're not together, if they're not in a group of 10, we call them ones. And ones are just all by themselves. I'm sorry I'm making so much noise. I'm trying to find my ones here. I'm back. If they're not all together, they're called ones, right? So we have tens and ones. So today that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be adding tens and ones. Four, five, nine. So on page 459, it tells us to use our tens and our ones to model. So we have a word problem here, and it's so tiny, but you're going to have to read it with me. It says, there are 24 children in a swimming pool. Ha! Huh. So they're giving us some information, so we're going to underline that. 24 children in a swimming pool. Three more children get in. More. Isn't that one of our keywords? Three more. What does that mean? More means I'm going to add or subtract. Hmm. So let's go ahead and circle more. More means we're going to add. So three more children get, it, get in. How many children are in the pool in all? So that's what we want to find. How many children are in the pool in all? And another keyword is, or keywords are in all. That also gives us a clue that we're probably going to have to add. It says draw the rods, which are these, and units you used. These are the units, these are the rods, and write the number. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw these, and some of you don't have them, we're gonna draw groups of 10 today. So it says there were 24 children, and then we're gonna add three more. So let's go ahead and show 24 in tens and ones. 24 children looks like this. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think we need one more square. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have one group of ten. That's ten, but I want to make twenty-four. So I'm going to make another group of ten, right? That two tells me that I need two groups of ten. Twenty. So that's one. Two, I need to make 10 more squares. Right? That gives me 20. And I could check, I could count all the squares to check, but I already know that 10 and 10 makes 20. 20. Do I have another group of 10? I want to make 24. I already have 20 and 4. Does four belong on this side? No, it's not a group of 10, it's four. So 20, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 
24. So there were 24 children in the swimming pool and three more children get in. We're gonna add three more. Is that a group of 10? Three? No, three is not a group of 10, it's only three. So we're gonna put it on the one side. So we're gonna add three. One, two, three. So now our question is, how many children are in the pool in all? In all means we need to count everything, right? So we're gonna add everything together. So let's check. How many do we have here? We have 10, 20. So we have two groups of 10, we have 20. And over here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we add those, how many do we have? We have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So our answer is 27. 20 plus seven equals 27. Good job. So we're gonna turn the page to page 460. What is going on here, Ms. Cortez? Okay, so what this is telling us, we're gonna draw out our tens and ones, and we're gonna add our tens first, and then we're gonna add our ones. And that's gonna help us a little bit. So let's go through each step. Step number one says show each number. So our numbers are 25 plus two. We're gonna line the two in our 10 side and our five and our two on our one side because they don't make a group of 10. So they have to be on our one side, right? So first we're gonna add our ones. Five plus two equals seven ones. We forget about the 10 side right now. And then our next step is we're gonna add the tens. Two, and here we're gonna imagine there's, there's an imaginary zero. There's nothing there. So it's like saying two plus zero equals two. So our answer is 27. The sum of 25 plus two is 27. Let's try a couple together and see. So if you have your manipulatives, these, you're gonna use them right now, okay? So this one is telling us 13 plus four. So the numbers we're looking at are 13 plus four. So let's say Ms. Cortez had 13 cookies and then Jacob M gave her four more. He gave me four more. How many cookies does Ms. Cortez have in all? How many cookies do I get to eat? So we're gonna line up our 13. 13 has one group of 10. Let's try that, let's make 13. So 13 is 10, 11, 12, 13. So this is on my 10 side, this is on my one side. Right? 13 plus four more. Now four is gonna be by itself because it doesn't have enough to make a group of 10. So I'm gonna add four more on my one side. One, two, three, four. So how many do I have all together? I could do this two ways. I could count these or I could use my trick like I showed you right now. So this would be 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Remember, I already know that this is 10, so I don't need to start from one. 
I start at 10. This is 10. I put 10 in my head. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Let me check if I'm right. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to cover this because I don't need this yet. Cover your tens. And I'm going to add my ones. 3 plus 4 is 7. Okay, now I'm going to add my tens. And remember I told you, let's imagine that there is a zero right here because there's nothing there. 1 plus 0 is 10? No. If I have 1 and I add 0 to it, how many do I have? I still only have 1. So 1 plus 0 is 1. <gasps> it gives me 17. I was right. Okay, let's try the next one. So this is really saying six plus 40. Six plus 40. So I'm going to line up my number. 40 has four tens, right? 10, 20, 30, 40. 40 has four tens and no ones, so zero ones, plus six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to do the other way first, and then we're going to check our answer with our sticks. So I'm going to cover my tens. And I'm going to add 6 plus 0 equals 6. If I have 6 and I don't add anything, I'm still only going to have 6. And now I'm going to add my 10s. Well, imagine there's an imaginary 0 there because there's nothing there. 0 plus 4. If I had nothing and then I get 4, so let's say, let's say Dexter gives me Let's say Miss Cortez had zero goldfish and Dexter gives me four. How many goldfish does Miss Cortez have now? Four. So zero plus four is four. So our answer is 46. Let's check it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Yes, I'm right. Woohoo! Good job, guys. Okay, number three says 6 plus 53. Let's try to do it without our cubes right now. So we're going to cover our tens place. 53 has five tens and three ones, right? So we're going to add the ones first. Six, seven, eight, nine. Six plus three equals nine. Zero plus five equals five. 59. Let's check. So I'm going to make 53 plus six. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, I'm still at 53, 50, 51, 52, 53. And then I'm going to add six more. 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six. So now let's count all together. How many do we have? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Woohoo! We've got this. Okay. Now we're going to look at page 461. This is our last page, 461. Number four, so we're going to 
do. So we have 22 plus 5. 22 plus 5. And we're going to line up our 2. 22 has two tens and two ones. 5 is only five ones. We're going to add our ones place first. 2 plus 5. What is that? 7. 2 plus 0 is 2. So 22 plus 5 equals 27. Okay, 42 plus 5. Let's go ahead and add that. So that is 42 is 10, 20, 30, 40. That's 40. And then we're going to put our ones on this side. 41, 42. 42 plus 5 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now how many tens do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4. We still have 4 tens. And how many ones? We have 1, 2, 3. Uh oh, you can't see the rest, can you? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 ones. So our answer 42 plus 5 is 47. Woohoo! Okay, let's go on. Ooh, this one says 4 plus 44. So let's make 4, 4 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 44. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Okay, how many tens do we have? One, two, three, four. We still only have four tens. And how many ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you know what? Miss Cortez made a mistake. You should always start adding with your ones first. Okay, start with the one side always. So we start here first, always. Okay, we have 52 plus 6. We're going to try it without our cubes. 52 is 5 groups of 10 and 2 ones plus 6. So remember I told you we always want to start on our one side, always. So we have 6, 2 plus 6. Add that for me. So you could use your fingers. You can use little tally marks. 6 plus 2 is 8. 5 plus 0, because there's nothing there, is 5. So our answer is 58. 52 plus 6 is 58. Okay, number 8, 71 plus 4. I am going to use my cubes for this one. 71 is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71. 71 plus 4 more. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. How many groups of 10 do we have? We still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 groups of 10 and how many ones? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ones. So our answer is 75. Okay, we're going to do number 9 without cubes. So we have 8 plus 90. 8 plus 90. Remember I told you we always start adding with the 1, so cover your 10 side. 
8 plus 0 is, what is 8 plus 0? 8. And then 0 plus 9. Remember, Miss Cortez has no, no goldfishes. And then Chanel gives her 9. How many does Miss Cortez have? Miss Cortez has nine goldfishes. So the answer is 98. Okay. 14 plus 4. Let's go ahead and do it without our cubes. 14 has one group of 10, four ones, plus 4. Add your ones first. 4 plus 4 is, that the doubles, doubles, baby, let's go, let's go. That's 8. And then 1 plus 0 is 1. All right, and finally, 55 plus 4. So 55 plus 4. Let's go ahead and use our cubes. 5. 10, not 5, 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So I want to make 55. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. So these are my ones. These are my tens. 55 plus 4 more. One, two, three, four. Okay, how many groups of 10 do I have? One, two, three, four, five. I still have five tens. And how many ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine ones. Okay, this is the last one I'm gonna do with you and then you're gonna do 13, 14, and 15 on your own and that's it, only these three, okay? 82 plus four. Okay, 82 plus four, so that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 82 plus 4 more, 1, 2, 3, 4. All together, how much is that? So I still have 8 groups of 10. Ah, oh, but Ms. Cortez, you're adding on the wrong side first. We want to add the one side first. So how many ones do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six ones. And how many tens? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our answer is 86. And you see how it would work if I did this too? Two plus four is six. 8 plus 0, because there's nothing there, is 8. Good. Remember, remember to always add your one side first. You're going to do 13, 14, and 15 on your own. Don't do the back side. We're going to do that tomorrow. Okay?